Hi there and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, what are the differences between a uh, top bar hive and a Langstroth hive. I've had several people ask me that and I thought I'd put this short little clip together to uh, show what the difference are. Okay, first we'll start by going over the components of the hives. And on the top bar hive, the first component that we're going to take a look at is the outer cover or roof. Now in mine, my top cover is uh, a hinged roof that's attached to the hive body. The hive body is what supports the top bars and is the house for the bees. On front of the hive, there are three openings which serve as the entrance and exit for the bees uh, for their hive and also a landing pad. On my hive, it is supported by four legs. Uh, some tupper hives are built in a stand, but that is the next component on a topper hive. Next component is probably the most important component of a topper hive, and that is that of the top bar themselves. This is uh, what hangs from the hive body and is what the bees draw their comb from. And finally, the uh, last component of the top bar hive is usually a screen bottom, and that is to allow ventilation. And it's also to allow uh, for some integrated pest management, uh, things like uh, varroa mites and small hive beetles uh, will fall through the screen bottom. Now we'll take a look at the more familiar Langstroth hive. This is probably what the hive that uh, most people think of when they hear the word beehive. All right, going over the components to the Langstroth hive, you have an outer cover that is a uh, cover of the hive, uh, the hive body composed of supers, and all that sits on top of the bottom board, which may or may not be screened. Um, and in the front, you have the front entrance for the bees. When you open up the outer cover, you have an inner cover. And also in the front, you have many times you'll have an entrance reducer and a hive stand. Again, when you open up the hive, you're going to find frames. And a frame is, in this case, is filled with foundation, which the bees build All right, on. One thing we want to talk about is the differences between top bar and uh, Langstroth hive as far as uh, manipulation of the frames and the bars. So we'll just take out, we're not going to disturb the girls here too much. We're just going to take out a bar, or in this case a frame, and uh, with a frame, you can take it and flip it around, see what's in there, and uh, do pretty much anything you want to do with it. I do want to check together and uh, we'll leave the guys alone. But uh, frames are very easy to manipulate and maneuver. Um, they have all four walls are connected so not much damage can happen to them by moving them around. You could drop them, that could cause problems. Top bar hive is different. Um, I'm just going to show you an empty frame or an empty bar here at first. But the uh, comb is only attached to the bar. There's nothing to support on the sides. So if you had a full comb and you tilted it like this or like that, the comb is going to snap off. So with the top bar hive, So with the top bar hive, you have to learn how to manipulate the bars. And you always want to keep it in a plane with the ground. So you can do this, you can 
do this, you can do this, and that's how you get it upside down to look at the other side. So I'll uh, they're building foam on this bar. It wasn't built um, earlier when I looked at it, and this would be a good example to show you how to manipulate the comb. Um, if you tilted it, it's going to fall off. So you can do this. You can do that, which allows you to see both sides. But you don't want to just straight flip it over. You can probably get away with it being small like this. But the best practice is just to always manipulate it. So that's the difference in manipulation of the combs. Um, top bar combs are very fragile, so you have to treat them that way. So that is the main difference between uh, top bar hives and the regular Langstroth hives. Um, Another difference is the way you process the honey, but that's another uh, video later on. Um, want to thank you for watching, and be sure to give us a thumbs up if you liked uh, the show, and be sure to share it with your friends. Thank you very much. Ouch. I just got stuck.